Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. And we're going through the book of Psalms here on Coffee Break, and we come today to Psalm 55, verse 1. <clears throat> David says, Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my supplication. God does not hide himself from our supplication. He does not ignore our pleas. He loves us way too much to do something like that. He also loves us way too much to give us what we plead for sometimes. So just because he doesn't give you what you ask you ask for doesn't mean that he is hiding himself from your supplication. Verse 2, attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise. God, God is sensitive to our feelings, so he knows when we are troubled he is sensitive to our feelings, but he is not moved by his feelings to give us something that we may want if it'll do us more harm than good. Three, because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. The writer is intimidated by the wicked who were out to hurt him. Verse 4, My heart is greatly pained within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. He's right with God, but he's still afraid of dying. He's terrified at the thought of dying. And you know why? Let me tell you why he's terrified at the thought of dying. It's because he's not dying. He's just thinking about dying. God gives his people dying grace when they are dying, not before they are dying. We'll be okay with dying. When we're dying, we'll be just fine with dying. <laughs> if Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, because he'll give us that grace at the moment we need it, and not a minute before. Verse 5, fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. I wonder why he didn't faint. Honestly, he just seems to be so overwhelmed. It's surprising that he maintains consciousness. Verse 6, and I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. So David wanted to run away from his problems, but since that was not an option, he prayed to God about his problems. If God does not change our circumstances, then he wants us to pray to him in the midst of those circumstances. He'll either change the circumstances or he will give us the grace that we need. In other words, he will either change our circumstances or he will change us as a result of our prayers. So we're going to stop right there for today. If you would like to continue studying the entire Bible with me, you can at the BibleVerseByVerse.com. Just choose and click and listen using my audio Bible messages all the way from Genesis through Revelation. It's all archived there, four series. And if you would like to be a part of this ministry, then pray for me and pray for God's Word. And when you take a break, from studying at the BibleVerseByVerse.com. Go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give us the Lord may lead. And I'll see you next time right here on Coffee Break.